بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله My dear student, greeting to you all Today inshallah we will carry on in our uh, journey learning English language uh, lessons My name is teacher Inas al -Hadithi. These are the lessons or the classes for the third continuing education uh, We already started our unit time This is the third unit in our new semester We are uh, still at lesson number one you can find this lesson at page 37, at page 37, so let's start, Bismillah. This is the cover of your unit, unit time, as you can see, I have different times, different way to show the time. Let's start by revising what we've learned in the previous lesson, my dear student. In the previous lesson, we introduced the word time. What do we mean by time? Okay, and also we introduced the question, what time is it? how to ask about the time okay and then we practice for so many for so many exercises how to tell the time how to the, tell the time by the end of the lesson inshallah you are you we will practice more how to tell the time okay and we will answer this question what time is it or what's the time please and we will be doing a lot of exercises Okay, so have your books ready at page 37 and pa uh, some uh, sheet of paper and uh, pencils. Again, the first word that comes to our mind when we see this picture is the word time. The word time. Also, we give ideas how to use our time properly or wisely. Okay, I hope you can come up with more brilliant or uh, smart ideas how to use our time wisely. Uh, I need to, re to remind you and myself of this uh, holy hadith from our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about the importance of time and not have our time wasted on unuseful things. Take a minute to read this uh, hadith one more time. And then let's start. This is the name of our unit, time. And let me re remind you of my favorite quote. Lost time is never found again. Make sure that you don't have a lost time, unuseful time. Make sure that you have productive time and you have planning for your whole day, okay? This sign means that we need to ask for the time by using this question, what time is it what time is it or we might say what is the time please both are correct so we maybe we can say what time is it or what is the time please both are correct let's start let's start by revising the numbers now you know why are we revising just these numbers because they are the numbers on our clocks one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, but now let's put them in the actual time or the clock, starting from number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so here I have the numbers on the clock. Now, here I have them on the clock in black and white because I need you to look at the minutes between number one and number two, for example, okay? Because I don't only have hours, I have hours and minutes, okay? So as you can see, no hands here. You cannot tell me what time is it. But I can see one, two, and between them, I can see five minutes, okay? Maybe we can choose any time now. For example, let me draw hands, for example, at this one. And I need you to tell me what time is it now? I draw a short hand and a long hand. Short hand, as I mentioned before, refers to the hours, okay? So it is seven o'clock. Long hand referred to minutes, 12 o'clock. That means exactly seven, seven o'clock, exactly seven. Okay, so it is seven o'clock. Let's go to the next slide. Again, what's the time shown in this clock? 
I have it on the clock, but I need to write it down. What's the answer? What time is it? Is it one o'clock? Is it nine o'clock? No, actually it is 10 o'clock. Very good, it is 10 o'clock, okay? Now, let's do these exercises to check your understanding, telling the exact time. Write the time. So have your pencils ready, my dear student, and write down your answers. Here I have six clocks with different times, okay? I will give you 30 seconds because before I reveal the answers, okay? Make sure you are writing the hour and the minutes. Okay, let's start with the first one. What time is it, my dear student? What time is it? It is three o'clock, very good. So this one, it is three o'clock, very good, very good. Next one, what time is it? What time is it? It is four o'clock, very good. It is four o'clock, excellent. Next one, what time is it? What time is it? It is? Five o'clock, very good, it is five o'clock. Excellent, excellent. Next one, what time is it? It is one o'clock, very good, very good. Next one, what time is it? It is two o'clock, very good. And the last one, what time is it, my dear student? It is 12 o'clock, very good. Let's read our answers one more time. It's three o'clock, it's four o'clock, it's five o'clock, it's one o'clock, it's two o'clock, and it's 12 o'clock. Very good, very good, my dear student. Now, help me to draw the hand of the clock. The hand of the clock. I gave you the, the long one, but this is how we draw the, th the short one, and it is three o'clock, right? It is three o'clock. How about the next one? What time is it? It's five o'clock, so... This is how we do it by drawing this. Very good. So what time is it? It is five o'clock. Very good. Now, again, write down the time. I will give you 30 seconds for this one because we, because we will start. I will start to add more minutes now. So you have six clocks. Write down the time, please. For the first one, what time is it? It is nine o'clock, very good. It is nine o'clock, excellent. For the next one, what time is it? It is 11 o'clock, very good. Next one, it is eight o'clock, very good. Eight o'clock, for the next one, what time is it? What do you think? It is three o'clock, very good. And for the next one, what time is it? It is? two o'clock and for the last one it is five o'clock very good let's read our answers one more time it's nine o'clock exactly nine o'clock okay eleven o'clock eight o'clock exactly eight o'clock three o'clock two o'clock and five o'clock very good now let's write down the time here, I need you just to give me the number. I have the clocks to your left and the digital numbers to your right. The first one, take your time, take your pencils, work on your worksheet, and then give me the answers. I will give you 15 seconds for this one because this is an easy one. I know you can do it. I have, what do you think? The first one I have, it's seven o'clock. Very good, it is seven o'clock. Next one I have, 
10 o'clock. Excellent. I hope you are writing these numbers down. Next one I have. It's 9 o'clock. Very good. It's 9 o'clock. Next one. It's 4 o'clock. Excellent. It's 4 o'clock. For the next one, it's 8 o'clock. And for the last one, it is 3 o'clock. Very good. So let's read our answers one more time by asking the question, what time is it or what's the time, please? It's 7 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. And it is 3 o'clock. Very good, my dear student. Let's match. To your left, I have 8, 2, 1, 5, and 3. And I have the clocks to your left. Starting with the first one, what time is it? It's 2 o'clock. Very good. It is 2 o'clock. For the next one, it is 8 o'clock. Very good. It is 8 o'clock. For the next one, it is 5 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. And it is 1 o'clock. Very good, my dear student. So let's pick here. 7, 8, 9, 10. Choose. What time is it? 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's choose. It is 8 o'clock. Very good. Our answer, it is 8 o'clock. For the next one, what time is it? 7, 8, 9, 10. What time is it? It is 10 o'clock. Very good. Very good, my dear student. Now, before I go to the next slide, remember that these two refers to the time exactly 10 o'clock, exactly 8 o'clock, and so on. But how about this one? For example, my dear student, can I say it is 11 o'clock? Can I say it is 12 o'clock exactly? No, actually I have 30 more minutes. Okay, I have 30 minutes. So what time is it? It is 11.30. It is 11.30. How did we count 30? I need your full attention now. As I mentioned, I have 5 minutes. So here I have 5 and then 5. And then I will be adding five, 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 five. The total is 30. So up from number 11 till here, I have 11.30. So if I ask you again, what time is it? It is 11.30, 30 minutes. Okay, so the 30 here refers to the number of the minutes. Again, if I ask you here, what time is it? It is 11.30, 11.30. Do we have another way to give this answer? Yes, we do. Perhaps by using this, saying half past, half past, okay? So I can say 11.30 or half past 11, half past 11, okay? So like this one, as you can see here, it's not exactly 1 o'clock, it's not exactly 2 o'clock, okay? But it's, it's in between. So we can say 1.30 or half past 1. So I need you to read with me over and over, okay? Because we will have different exercises now. If I ask you, what time is it, my dear student? You might say it's 11.30 or half past 30, half past 11, sorry, like this one, I can say 1.30 or half past 1. 1.30 or half past 1. Okay, let's go to the next exercise. Say the time. So as you can see, the first one, it's exactly 1 o'clock. It is 1 o'clock. But below, I have more minutes now. It is half past one or we might say it's 1 30 okay so compare between two these two the first one it's one o'clock the second one it's half past one or it is 1 30 very good very good now how about this let's read half past one half past two and half past three okay so the long hand here refers to number six, right? Half past one, half past two, and half past three. 
Now, how about this one? Choose. I have three options for you. Is it half past five? Five o'clock or half past six? What do you think? By saying this, as you can see, the short hand, look at the short hand and the long hand. The long hand, six, so half past, half past, five. Very good, my dear student. So if I ask you this question about this uh, picture, what time is it? It is half past five, half past five. Very good, let's go to the next one. Same, half past five, five o'clock or half past six? The answer is half past five. Very good, half past five. How about this one? What time is it? As you can see, it's half four, it's three o'clock, it's half past five, it's half past three. What do you think? Let me help you out. Is it, is it option C or D? Is it C or D? It is half past three. Very good. As you can see on the clock, it is half past three. Very good. Now, for this one, I need you to choose. I have three clocks, okay? I need you to choose the correct time. The time is half past one. Half past one. So which clock are we referring to? Is it the first one, the one in the middle, or the last one? What do you think? Half past one. The answer is the one in the middle. Very good. The one in the middle. The first one is one o'clock. And the last one is half past five. Half past five. Very good, my dear student. Now, I need you to write the time for me. Remember now, we need to add 30 minutes more. So take your time. I will give you 15 seconds for this exercise. Tell me or write down the time here, okay, based on the clock. Okay, so for the first one, what time is it? It is 5.30. Very good. Remember, we can say 5.30 or half past 5. Okay, so 5.30 or half past 5. Very good. How about number 2? Write the time. What time is it? It is, what do you think? 4 o'clock. Exactly 4 o'clock. Very good, my dear student. 4 o'clock. Third one, what time is it? What time is it? Is it 7.30? Is it 5.30? No, actually it is 6.30 or half past 6. Half past 6. Very good. So let's read our answers one more time. 5.30, 4 o'clock, 6.30. How about this? Let's do number 4. What time is it, my dear student? Take your time. I will give you 15 seconds. Write down the answers in your uh, notebook, please. The answer is 8.30. Very good. So we might say 8.30 or half past 8. Next one, 12. 30, very good, 12.30, or half past 12. And for the last one, this is an easy one, it is 6 o'clock. Very good, so let's read our answers one more time. It's 8.30, 12.30, 6 o'clock. Very good, now let's match. I have the clocks to your left and the time to your right. First one is 3.30, half past 3, very good. And the next one, it is 2 o'clock. Very good. And for the last one, it is 10.30 or half past 3. For the one to your right, I have 1.30 or half past 1, 4 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Very good, my dear student. Now, I need you to choose here. 
Here I have four clocks and two options for each one. I'll give you maybe 15 seconds for this one. I know you can do it. Choose wisely. Now you have to choose the word, not the number, half past two, half past one, and so on. Take your time now and we will check our answers together. For the first time, for the first clock, I have 1.30 or half past 1. Very good. 1.30 or half past 1. For the second one, I have 2.30 or half past 2. Very good. Excellent. For the third one, I have 3.30 or half past 3. Very good. For the last one, I have 4.30 or half past 4. So let's read our answers one more time. It's half past 1. It is half past 2. It is half past 3. And it is half past 4. Very good. Now, draw the clock hands. I gave you the first one as an example. For the first one, it is 10.30. So Look at the short hands and the long hand, okay? Let's do the same with the second one. Seven o'clock, exactly seven o'clock. So this is the, sh the long hand and this is the short one. So what time is it? It is seven o'clock, very good. How about the next one? 6.30, 6.30, what do you think? So here is the long hand and this is the short hand. What time is it? It is 6.30. Very good, 6.30. Let's do the same here. 8.30, 3.30, and 7.30. Starting with the first one. This is the long hand, and this is the short hand. Very good, 8.30. Half past 8, the one in the middle. 3.30. Starting with the minutes, and then... 3.30, half past 3. Very good. For the last one. And 7.30 or half past 7. Very good, my dear student. Very good. Now, here I have four clocks and I have all the numbers here. Let's go with the first one. It's 10.30, half past 1. For the next one, 7.30, half past 7. 1.30, half past 1, and 9.30, half past 9. Very good. Now, I need you to open your books at page 37, okay? Have your books and some pencils because we need to do some drawing, okay? I will be have it zoomed in in a minute, but make sure you have your pencils now. So let's start with exercise 3. Listen and draw the hands. Here I have two clocks, no hands. Let me help you with this one. Let's say that this one, the time is 4.30. Okay, so let's draw the hands of the clock. 4.30 or half past 4. Okay, for the next one, 11.30. Okay, let's draw the hand now. Eleven thirty, very good. Or half past eleven, very good, my dear student. Moving to exercise four, read and match. Here I have a conversation, two conversations actually. We need to complete it with these words. Please, time, clock, thank, it's for and what's. Okay, so let's complete it with these. What's the Please, what's the, please, what do you think, my dear students, what's the time, please, very good, what's the time, please, or what time is it, very good, what's the time, please, it is nine o'clock, very good, it's nine o'clock, make sure you are writing down your answers, thank you.
You should thank the other person, okay? So let's read our answers one more time. What's the time, please? It is nine o'clock. Thank you. Number two, what do you think? What's the time? Please, very good. What's the time, please? It is, now look at the time. What time is it? It is four o'clock. Thanks. Very good, let's read the answer. What's the time, please? It is four o'clock. Thanks. Very good, my dear student. Now let's go to the conversation. Number five, listen and read. Asking for the time, we have different way, perhaps by saying, what's the time, Sammy? It's 6.30 or it's half past six. What's the time, Mr. Jack? It's 4.30 or it's half past four. Both are correct, okay? So, asking this question over and over again to know the time. What time is it or what's the time, please? Look at this picture. The first thing that comes to my mind when I say this picture, when I see this picture is time is gold. We should use our time wisely. We discuss about this man, how is he having a very good balance of his time, okay? He's not having a wasted time. So let's revise our lesson, my dear student. In this lesson, we practice telling time more and more. Actually, we add three minutes to our time and we were able to answer the question, what time is it? in several different ways. So that was my lesson, my dear student. Until I see you next time, stay safe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.